behalf of Trinity Church Youth, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, welcome to our Christmas pageant. Let us pray. Gracious God, as the wise persons and shepherds came with their gifts, we come with our talents. Let us tell your story in your spirit, and let it be heard with wonder. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. What I should have said was, welcome to our Christmas pageants. Pageants, as in plural, more, as in more than one. Two to be exact. We will begin with the Nativity Steve from the Gospel of Matthew, then we will perform the story from the Gospel of Luke. But are they practically the same story? Not really. First thing you'll notice that the Matthew story has no shepherds, and the Luke story has no wise persons. But you'll see a lot of differences too. Just as long as the little ones sing away in danger. They will. For this, let's present our first Christmas pageant of the night. The birth of Christ as told by Matthew. Joseph. Joseph? Oh, Mom, it's not school day. Wake up, Joseph. Who are you? I'm an angel of the Lord. I bring you a message about Mary, your betrothed. About what? Betrothed. That means you're getting married. Oh, what about her? <coughs> Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son. His name shall be called a which means God with us. Was that another angel? No, I'm the narrator. I'm just reading the parts of Gospel of Matthew that show how birth of Christ, birth of Jesus fulfilled the prophecies of the Old Testament. That's good to know because a new message I shall take my life and we shall call his name Jesus. First thing in the morning. Good night. Good night. When Joseph woke from asleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not until she was born a son. His name shall be called Jesus.
shall mighty Herod. You're not going to fall for that, are you? Fall for what? Never mind. When they heard, when they had heard the king, they went their way, and lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till they came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house where they saw the child and Mary, his mother, they fell down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures. They offered him gifts, frankincense, gold, and myrrh. This was fulfilled what the Lord has spoken by a prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son.
the birth of Christ as told by Luke. In the days of Herod, King Judah was the, pre the priest of Zechariah and the bishop of Abijah. He had a wife of daughters of Aaron. Her name was Elizabeth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Who are all these people? Zechariah, Abijah. This is a Christmas story. They're Mary. Where are Mary and Joseph? People, I know the story. Later they. People with short names, please. Zachariah and Elizabeth are important to the story. Oh, really? Yes, really. Elizabeth is Mary's cousin. The angel, the angel Gabriel tells Mary she's going to have a baby. But before he does that, he tells Zachariah he and Elizabeth are going to have a baby. And the baby's going to grow up to be John the Baptist. Great. Now not only do I have to deal with long names, but everyone already knows the ending. This is going to work out. Trust me. Okay. Where was I? There's a priest named Zechariah of the division of, I'm sure you all know. And he had a wife of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances in the Lord's ways. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were advanced in years. Now while he was serving as a priest in the temple, there appeared to him an angel of the Lord, and Zechariah was very, very scared. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zachariah, for your prayer is heard, and your son and your wife will bear a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. And, and he will be great before the Lord, and, and he will go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah and to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and disobedient to the wisdom of the just and make ready for the Lord a people prepared. I know you're just an angel, but isn't that last part really, really kind of poetic? Yes, uh, yes, but you know how uh, the Christmas story in Matthew's Gospel emphasis, emphasizes how Jesus' birth fulfills prophecy? Yes, I was watching that part. Well, in Luke's Gospel, Christ the Christmas story is a poetic celebration of God's grace. Lots of people in the story have poetic parts. Do I get a poetic part? Uh, no. Why not? Because you don't get to talk for a while. I don't understand. It's like this. I just told you that even though your wife and you are very old, you will have a son who will prepare people for God's grace. That's unbelievable. How is that supposed to happen? Because God said, said it would, and because you didn't believe I, operating under my authority as God's messenger, made you unable to speak. Oh, and that's supposed to... <laughs> you don't get a fire part, but your son is the herald of the coming of the kingdom of God. Can't have everything. So Zachariah rushed home to tell Elizabeth the news. Sort of. You're home, Margaret. What? I'm happy you were hearing you. Oh, thanks, Rose. I love that name. Yeah. It's a, okay, it's a quotation. Three words. First word. Ah, face, cheek. First word is I.
hear herself say. That's the Lord has done to me in the days where he looked at me to take away my reproach and my hands. Mm-hmm. 
For he hath begot the low essay of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all general vengeance shall come in blessed. For he who is mighty done great things for me, and is holy of his name. And Mary remained with her about three months, and returned to her home. Now the time came for Elizabeth to be delivered, and she gave birth to her son. And her neighbors and kinsfolk heard that the Lord had shown great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. And on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they would have named him Zachariah after his father. But Elizabeth decided to say, Not so he shall be called John. And they said to her, None of your kindred is called by this name. They made signs to his father, inquiring what he should have him called. And he grabbed the writing tablet and wrote. Mm
has that sheep I sold him last year. Sorry to hear that. He was there when you sold him. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. I had to drag him into the field. He was stunned. I had to pop him up and give him the same. He must have been resting. Okay, wait a minute. This is a Christmas pattern. We're not going to resort to using some old comedy bit just to get some cheap laughs, are we? We're not? Why should this year be any different? Look, you were shepherds on a hillside, tending your flocks by night. Very soon, an angel will come out of the sky and bring you good tidings of great joy. Maybe she could appear with lawn chairs. This hillside's pretty rough. <laughs> That's enough comedy. This is about the glory and grace of the power of God. You can't just act silly around here. Excuse me, I realize you're the narrator and we're just a pair of shepherds. But did it even, did it even occur to you that perhaps the author intended to contrast the simple rugged life of the agricultural society with the grandeur of the Almighty? Right. And perhaps, in the contrast, the very act of God revealing himself to people, the simplest of his people, demonstrates God's nature and that God, and that God identifies with the oppressed and the downtrodden. So that's the message. God's grace is available to those who mm -hmm. give themselves to receive it. I think Carl Barth. Okay, okay, okay. You've made your point. We can get back to the comedy now. Uh, we're running a little late. <coughs> Let us go and 
Lord Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known to them the saying which had been told to them concerning the child. And all who heard it wonder at what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told unto them. Thank you. 